hello guys welcome back to the channel this is bookie rocks and today i'm going to be reacting to lizzo featuring cardi b um rumors so i've actually um done another video a first reaction to the music uh video i watched the live and then i watched the premiere um the live premiere and then i watched the music video um immediately it launched and i did a live reaction to it and i um tried uploading it on youtube and it was blocked so that sucks um that was a 20 minute reaction that it's just gold but i guess you have to suffer for the art and um yeah so i'm going to try to do another reaction without actually playing the song i don't know how this is going to turn out but um yeah so what are my first thoughts about the music video and the song um i it's a it's a clean video it's a gorgeous video um there's definitely a lot of budget that went into making this uh, music video um i really love um lizzo's um I really love the message basically rumors um whatever they do there are a lot of rumors around them that surrounds them and at this point they don't give a fuck they don't care so instead of listening to the lyric to the music i've decided i'm just going to um read the lyrics and then we'll react to it so i try to make this um channel a bit lyrical react to the lyrics um but uh there were not really a lot of bars or any bars at all honestly um in this song uh, and that was something i said in my form in my last reaction like i gave it an eight but the eight was because the music video carried the song and i don't think the song was supposed to be lyrical in the first place it's just a nice music uh it's a it's a you know they don't know i do it for the culture god damn they say i should work the shit i post oh god damn say i'm turning big girls into hoes oh god damn they say i get groupies on my shoes oh god damn so it's just a um, you know i don't care i don't give a fuck whatever you say about me if you say i'm a culture virtual yep that is true all of the rumors are true um so lizzo came on um talking about um how the public does not know that she's doing it for the culture basically repping the big girls she's saying they say i should watch the shit that i post they say i'm turning big girls into hoes because she's always on instagram being naked and or barely wearing anything and shaking her big behind online and then she said that they say i get groupies at my shows oh god damn like god damn it then our first verse says all the rumors are true what you heard that's true i fuck him and you if you believe i do that i have to cut some o's loose nda no loose lips now them o's trying to sue me bitch i don't give two shits all the rumors are true i've been into bamboo yeah focused on this music my ex dude he blew it last year i thought i would lose it reading my shit on the internet my smoothie cleanser my diet no i am fuck trick yet ha so that old verse there's like i said i've listened to this before they were they're not there's not really any bars in there it's just them talking their shit and i've been fun doing it this song is not supposed to be a lyrical song uh she's basically talking about like what she's gone through what she's heard people say about her that whatever all the rumors are true and and that was true last year there was a whole controversy around um lizzo going on a smoothie cleanse and all the big girls that support lizzo kind of losing their shit on the internet saying lizzo uh, was copping out was trying to lose weight she, she, she I, they thought that she was rapping for the big girls and all of that and then she said um she, reading all of that on the internet she thought she, that she would lose it but at this point she does not give a fuck all the rumors are true she's been focused she's been into bamboo um she's she's going to cut anybody out of her life that is bringing drama 
then um then she says uh spending all your time trying to break a woman down real shit is going on baby take a look around if you thought that i was ratchet with my ass hanging out just wait until the summer when they let me out the house like <laughs> it's summertime. time we're outside baby we outside what are you talking about so she's saying um everything that they are saying online about her about her being naked telling her that she's ratchet telling her she should cover up they are trying to break a woman down she said there's real stuff going out don't worry about me take a look around if you thought i was ratchet now with my ass hanging you know, i just waited this to the summertime when they let me out, out the house you know uh then she said she's going to give him something to talk about she's sick of the rumors but haters are going to do what they do haters are go going to continue to do what they do so i'm literally reading the lyrics <laughs> line for line for you guys because i can't play the music the, my first reaction was blocked uh, but the same thing i got from the music video the music video is mm, clean clean Atlantics don't play when it comes to this budget behind music videos for their artists. Talk about Lizzo, talk about Cardi, talk about Bruno Mars, talk about um, Lil Nas X, like all of their big artists. You can tell when Atlantic is pushing an artist. You can tell. You can tell when there's like they, they like an artist and they are pushing the artist and there's big budget. Um, then Cardi B comes true. And says, oh, the rumors are true. Yeah, fake ass, fake boobs. Yeah, made a million at Suze. Yeah, got me running with the fake news. Yeah, then um, that was our first rhyme scheme, which is like simple rhyme scheme. She, no bars at all. She's just saying, oh, the rumors are true. Yes, I've got fake ass. Yes, I've got fake boobs. I've made a million at Suze. Uh, they've got me running with fake news like whenever okay maybe there's a little a simple bar yeah got me running with fake news like you guys are putting out fake news about me thinking you're thinking you're hurting my brand actually what you're doing is that you're giving me engagement you got me running <laughs> you got my, my name popping all of that engagement is going to turn into views everybody will be hearing cardi 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 and they want to come check my music video check me out and all of that is engagement returns into money so maybe that's a bar not a complex bar but a simple bar then she goes and say and one thing is that um so the 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 cardi then changed that flow she brought in the bat here cardi uh do, 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 do. So the that flow that she used in Batia Cardi, she brought it back here. So after she said, got me running fake news, yeah, then she started Cardi and popping up that same machine. Nobody listened, they're buying them streams. They even posted on blogs overseas a lie in lang in the language I can't even read. So she brought that. I really liked when I first listened to it. I was like, oh, nice. She switched that flow. So she brought in a new flow talking about um, all, the, all the people, the rumors out there is that Cardi is not popping organically that's a machine and then she said that they continue to say that nobody's actually listening to her music atlantic is buying them streams from her for her they're using streaming farms and then she says they even carry all of the news on blogs overseas they write news about her in language that she can't even read so all of that is like all facts if you go online on a normal day on twitter just google cardi b if you read you just it's all about fake news um it's all about say, fake news it's all about how she's a payola queen sympathy her career is built on sympathy and payola um she's she's an industry plant yada 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 um and she's just saying yeah whatever you guys say all of that is true you know it's true then she said um the fuck do this mean look i'm a bronx bitch with some pop eats i used to pop off when they pop shit but i calmed down and i'm logged in and my records live in top 10. lizzo teach me about a big girl coochie last time i got freaky the fcc sued me but i'm gonna keep doing what i want to do because all the rumors are true yeah so like i said there is no bars in this songs it's not i don't think it's supposed to be a lyrical track it's just supposed to be both of them popping their shit and say you know what whatever rumors you you want to say about us whatever story be it fake or true all of it is true at this point we do not give a fuck like Cardi said 
I used to worry about that before. I used to pop off when they pop sheets, but now I'm coming down because I know that I'm logged in. She's saying she knows her spot. She knows that her spot is logged in. Nobody is try is going to try to come for her. And she said that because all of our records, they live in the top 10. And it's up, and it's up, and it's up, and it's stuck. <laughs> when it's up, it's stuck. She says everything she releases, it's in top 10. So whatever you say, all of your rumors, I'm a Payola queen, Sympathy and Payola, the streaming farms are the ones streaming. She said whatever, whatever you're saying, that's it. My thoughts actually about that is that people need to understand that for labels, it's all about numbers and statistics. Get this. If I run a label, right, and no matter what I, maybe I like an artist or the artist as a follower, I don't care. If, okay, let's take the Cardi, for example. She does not write her raps. She does, everybody knows that. She's not a lyrical rapper. Everybody knows that. But one thing Cardi has going for her is that she's sellable, she's marketable. So a label that is all about business in the music industry would think, huh, if I can package this sellable, marketable girl, get her writers, put some money behind her and put her on the screen because she's got the personality and people like all the wow, you know, all the distracting tactics that she throws online, people are going to fuck with her. And if I put let me invest $5 million into her first and see what that would do, right? So they invest $5 million into her. Uh, maybe a million dollars will go into like music video, budgeting, another $500,000 will go into like the writers, the producers, studio sessions and all of that. Then marketing is the big thing, right? So they put $3.5 million only just marketing because they know they have to market the shit out of her, right? So. They are like uh, buying playlisting spots. They are like um, sending gift baskets to radio DJs with like vacation trips. You know, they are buying all of these things. They are like um, uh, lobbying academy, uh, uh, recording academy members to, you know, give her nominations and all that. They spent $3.5 million on this girl. Guess what? If someone like Cardi does not return a significant amount on that investment do you think the labels are going to put another money into her let's assume that all of that push all of that push right maybe she came in because of the label because of the buying the payola payola that which is literally marketing budget the payola and they have connections at the bottle of the shit pushed her into number one or top 10 or top 20 and when the money runs out the payola because obviously you can't keep buying all of that every week maybe you bought it for like five weeks or four weeks or a month right because new music will come through now after all of that is done and it doesn't connect with the general public right and the general public does not get behind this person or buy her stuff or stream or companies are not calling to put her to for uh, for her to be the spokesperson of their brand thereby making money back to for the label if the label does not recuperate the money that they spent on 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 that artist when the artist wants to drop uh, drop another single and needs another big budget they are going to give her five hundred thousand dollars because they're like we've given you five million your first project it flopped even though yes you got the number and then you got you got your number ones you got all of that but behind the scenes when they break the spreadsheet out they're like see look at what we invested we only got back 1.2 million that is not making sense we are we are not going to put another money behind you and that is the the reason why labels will continue to push artists like Cardi B like uh, Lil Nas X because they understand how controversy sells records. They understand that. And they, they, if they don't make the money back for the label through music, they are going to make the money back for the labels another way, right? So you see them pandering uh, endorsement deals. They are going to always be on, uh, you know, always selling stuff, always uh, creating drama online or drama online brings engagement engagement brings people to go see their music video to see what is going on and all of that ties back into money 
So they are marketable, they are sellable because at the end of the day, it's music business. Don't forget, you can be an artist, but if you don't understand the business behind the artist, behind the artistry that you have, if you don't understand the business behind it, you're going to fail. So, and most labels, they don't care about the talent. Are you sellable? Are you marketable? Because at the end of the day, it's all numbers and statistics for these labels. So that is why artists like Cardi don't care. Talk about it, she's not a Liverpool rapper. Uh, she did a bass song, like I'm saying here. Yeah, I don't see any bars here. There's no bar at all here. No, no one single bar. Nothing. But guess what? This song, I bet you, might debut top three on Billboard next week. Do you think Cardi cares? That there's no buy in a song and this is why i tell fans of artists that are lyrical artists that have talent you it does not do the artist any good for you to stay on twitter and start fighting every time cardi drops something you jump on it oh you're a payola queen sympathy and payola this da 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 you're not writing your part do you think Cardi cares? Everything that you're doing is bringing engagement. All of those rumors is engagement back to our brand. You're making her more visible. But guess what? When your art, when the artist that you are standing, that has the talent, that has the uh, uh, the lyrics, that it's like drops a track that it's like, Phew! you know, a track that that makes you shiver. But guess what? Instead of you to support the artist, you're back on Twitter still arguing with the fans of the other untalented artists about how good your artist is without buying the artist songs. Do you think the label Republic or Interscope Records or Rock Nation, they are going to care that people are, people are arguing and, and defending their artists on Twitter when they pull up the spreadsheet and it's in red? they're gonna you know what it's music business so you fans please support who you are going to support and not just streaming buy their stuff music is literally one i don't know how much a uh, track is some tracks is literally one dollar 69 cents you can't afford to buy that and you and you you be the loudest person on twitter Oh, 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 Megan this, oh, I'm a Bob, oh, I'm a Stallion, oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a B, B, I'm part of the BI, oh, I'm Rihanna Navy, oh, I'm a T Swizzle, oh, I'm this, I'm that. But guess what? When your artist drops something, because you, if you know for a fact that your artist is not getting the push that other artists are getting in the industry, then you know you have to fill in the gap. So artists like Kadi are not going to care. They're not going to care because guess what? They are going to make the money back in other ways. And the general public loves a success story. They, that's, it's always a tried and tested formula. If someone is successful enough, if they, that they can package and create that mirage around an artist, that this artist is successful, the gen, after a while, the general public will fuck with the, with the artist because no one loves a, a failure. No one loves a failure. When you drop a track and it flops, you drop a track, it flops, you drop a flag, it flops, and you're like, oh, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best. And another artist that does not even have 1,000, 1 out of 1,000% of your talent drops a track and it goes number one, drops a track. After a while, even your own fans will be like, whoa, <laughs> ah, I'm tired. So, support who you're going to support. If you know, like you're like me, you support authenticity artistry lyricist intelligent rappers put your money behind that your support should not just be limited to twitter wars and instagram comments so um then lizzo came back and said they hated on me since school yeah i never thought i was cool yeah now me and Cardi we cool yeah i love ozone poles yeah i'm on body goals yeah that shit from my soul yeah black people made rock and roll yeah then the pre-chorus, when you're spending all your time trying to break a woman down, real as shit is going on, baby, take a look around. If you thought that I was ratchet with my hands hanging out, just wait until the summer when they let me out of the house. 
then what they say what they say talk and talk and talk and talk give them something to talk about sick of rumors but it has to do what they do it has to do what they do all the rumors are true all the rumors are true she told you this song literally has zero bars zero but guess what the song is going to debut <laughs> On Billboard 100, and if you're gonna be mad about that, I'll be mad. <laughs> Is that not how this um, Cardi and Megan they, they say? It? Like, if you're gonna be mad, stay mad. <laughs> stay mad. What are you going to do about it when your artist, when your when when your favorite artist drops? When was the last time you bought the album? When was the last time you bought their song? When was the last time you streamed? When was the last time you told your folks at home? If if an artist has 40,000 strong fans, core fan base, and every time that artist drops, that 40,000 core fan base makes it their mission 